Hello everyone, thank you so much for joining me for another For the Love of Learning video. My name is Miss D and today we're going to look at division by sharing. Pig and I have someone very special to introduce you to. This is Rue. Hi Rue. Shall we get on with some division then? Okay. Like I said, today we're looking at division by sharing. So let's look at an example. I've got 12 stars and I'm going to share them between Rue and Pig. Okay, done that. What's that Pig? Rue's got more stars than you. Oh no, I haven't shared them equally. Let's fix this. I'm going to slow right down and I'm going to give each of them a star, one at a time, until I run out of stars. Okay, Rue, how many stars do you have? Six. Pig, how many stars do you have? Six. They've both got six stars. So how do we write this as a number sentence? Well, we started with 12 stars and then we divided them by two people. Now, because we're dividing, we need to put in our division symbol. This shows that we're sharing them out. And there was two of them that we were sharing them out between. And how many did they each have? They each got six. So this reads as 12 divided by two equals six. What's really important to remember when we're doing division is that we need to share the items equally. That means that each person or each group has the same amount. Let's look at another example together. I've got 10 apples and I'm going to share them equally between Rue and Pig. That's two people. So we can write this as 10 divided by 2 equals ah. And now this is what we don't know, so we need to work out the answer. Let's slow right down and give each person one apple at a time until we run out of apples. Now they've both got the same amount of apples. They've both got five apples. That means that 10 divided by two equals five. Okay, your turn now. Here are eight blocks. Can you have a go at solving this number sentence? Eight divided by two equals... If you have something at home that you could use instead of blocks, maybe pencils or teddies or pieces of pasta, that would be really useful. Pause the video now. Welcome back, let's take a look at this one together. So we've got eight as our whole and we need to divide it between two groups. So we need to share it between two groups. Are we ready? Fab, we can now see there are four in each group. So to solve our number sentence, we just need to put four in as our answer. So we can clearly see that eight divided by two equals four. Let's look at another example together. Let's say we have 15, I was gonna say cakes, but the likelihood of all 15 cakes turning up are pretty slim, are they not, pig? Yeah. Let's say 15 dogs. We've got 15 dogs and we're gonna share them between Rue and Pig, but also myself this time. So now we're sharing them between three people. So how do we write this? Well, a whole is 15. And then we need to show that we are sharing with our division symbol. And then we're dividing them by three people. So this reads as 15 divided by three equals, should we work it out? Okay, let's share them equally one at a time. Should we see how many we've got? Well, I've got five. How many do you have, Rue? You've got five? Pig? Five? Fabulous, we've all got five. So that means that 15 divided by three equals five. Okay, Rue and Pig, are you ready to test your division knowledge so far? Yes, you are, Pig. Look, Rue is ready and it's her first day on the job. You're kind of embarrassing me a bit here, pig. Okay, let's have a look at our problem. We've got a picture here of six bees. 
I'm going to share these six Bs between three equal groups. We can now see we've got two in each group. How do I write this as a number sentence? I don't think they're agreeing. Ready? Interesting. Okay, so Rue thinks that we write six divided by three equals two, and Pig thinks that we write three divided by six equals two. What do you think? Either tell a screen or an adult. Pause the video now. Welcome back. So, when we write out our division number sentence, we always start with our total or our whole number. So in this case it was six, because we started with six Bs. Then we say how many we shared them out between. So that was between three groups. So we put six divided by three. And then after the equal sign, we say how many there were in each group. So as there were two in each group, we put in the two. Six divided by three equals two. Okay, Rue, let's look at this problem together. It says 16 divided by 4. Where do we start? You're right, Rue. Let's count out 16 counters or teddies or pencils. Great. So now we've got 16 items. What do we do next, Rue? We share them out between how many people? You're right, four people. 16 divided by 4. So let's share them into four equal groups. Okay, now what? We count how many there are in each group and that gives us our answer. There are four in each group. So we can see that 16 divided by 4 equals 4. And it's quiz question time! And as it's Rue's first day, Pig and I thought it would be really nice if she designed the quiz question today. Didn't we, Pig? We did, Pig. We did. Anyway, take it away, Rue! Ooh, I like this one. Rue says, is this statement true or false? So do you agree with it or do you disagree with it? It reads, 12 divided by 3 equals 10. And there's a handy drawing for you there as well. Do you think this is true or is this false? If I were you, I might get 12 items to count out. Either tell the screen or an adult. Pause the video now. Welcome back. Let's have a look. Yep, it's false, isn't it? Because we haven't shared them into equal groups and to do division by sharing, we need to put them in equal groups. Let's fix it. we can see that 12 divided by 3 is actually 4. Thank you so much for joining us today. We can't wait to see you next time. If you haven't already, press that subscribe button. What are you doing? That's not professional. Bye for now.